welcome back to Gardening Young. So today we are just going to be kind of going around doing a couple things. Need to get some stuff done. Um, just want to show you a few things, kind of update you. Um, just a fun vlog. Um, that I just turn the camera on, kind of take you with me to do a few garden things. So um, yeah, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so first thing I want to show you um, is something that you obviously saw um, in the beginning of this video, but um, I started some um, squash and cucumbers today. So we have some Parsian pickling cucumbers, silver slicer cucumbers, Ford Hook zucchini, and Black Beauty zucchini um, because I was having a really hard getting time getting them to germinate um, in my garden, but these, like, um, this is toilet paper um, little, like, thing, cardboard things, um, but they're, like, cut in half. Um, and that way I can just plant this um, uh, entire thing in the ground without having to disturb the roots at all because like squash and cucumbers don't really like their roots disturbed so this is a great way to do it and not disturb the roots as much um, and so that's what I'm doing because I cannot get them to germinate um, so this is my new solution is to germinate them in this because I cannot get them to germinate. The next thing on the to-do list is to, um, I need to fertilize some of my hanging baskets. So I showed you, you saw one of my hanging baskets with the like yellow um, flowers. And then I also need to fertilize um, this hanging basket, which I've showed at a few garden tours now. Um, these really pretty flowers that I really love. And um, basically I have this um, espoma. Um, flower tone that I've I got and I really love it it um, I actually put it in my Dahlia um, purple flowers um, I put it in this pot whenever I was first planting them and I think that's one of the things that has helped it do so well is that fertilizer um, and I love Espoma because it's organic so um, not sponsored but love it because it's organic and great fertilizers um, so I, this just kind of helps it bloom better and things like that. Um, just give it a little bit more life again because this one, especially this yellow flower one, is kind of looking a little um, scraggly, a little rough. So hopefully this, um, this, um, uh, hopefully this fertilizer will help it um, become more like full and beautiful again. Um, so that's what we need to do first thing on the list. Okay, so I've got both of those fertilized and I need to water them now um, just to water everything in. I also need to water everything like on the deck and things like that. Um, but the one thing I want to do before that is I have this um, dahlia that I still have not planted um, and I have the container. It's right here that um, I'm going to plant it in. So all I need to do is go get the compost and put it, fill that um, container up. And so I'm gonna do that so that I can water everything and water that too. So I'm gonna do that right now um, and do that before I water everything, obviously, so that I can water that too. And um, then I also am gonna put some fertilizer in that um, too so that it can um, keep blooming like this dahlia over here is doing, um, which is great. So, because that is like 
starting to struggle and I really need it to be transplanted. So that's what we're gonna go do now. Um, next thing on the to-do list. So let's go. So I've gotten everything planted that I needed to get planted as you saw I got that basil planted um, And then I got that dahlia planted which is a huge relief because those two things were like one of the things that were like You know really needed to be done. So I'm glad I got that done um, Everything's fertilized all the flowers are fertilized. I should say um, I also think I have this liquid fertilizer that I got for my seedlings whenever I have seed starting and I think I might give a dose um of that fertilizer to the green stock. I don't know that I'll do it today, but I do. I think that's one of the things I'm gonna do. So now I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and water everything. And then um, after I water everything, we're gonna go over to the garden, the um, big garden, and go and tie some tomato plants up. And I wanna show you guys how I tie my tomato plants up. Um, because I've, show, I've showed you before, but um, I prune my, I'll explain it later. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do, but I'm going to go and water everything real quick, and then I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so everything is watered on the deck, good to go. Now, what I need to do is, um, I'm going to water everything over here, but first, because like my pepper plants over here struggling from the intense heat um, and look how frizzy my hair is anyway so what I'm going to do now let me talk to you in the shade um, what I'm going to do now is um, tie up any of my tomato plants prune them things like that so what I was about to say earlier but now I'm going to explain it um, basically how I prune my tomato plants is I prune them to a single liter or two liters, one or two liters. And um, that allows me to, that allow, one of the things is it allows airflow, um, but also it allows me to tie up it up to the trellis easier because I have one stem or two that I just um, t attach to the trellis. So that means that, what that means is that I am pruning off any suckers. If you don't know what a sucker is, um, it's like the little shoot that comes off of, um, uh, comes out in between the branch and the main stem. So um, I am going to be pruning any of those suckers and tying up all of my plants. Um, and because some of them are like falling over and they need to be tied to the trellis. So that's what we're going to do and then I'm also going to water everything. Um, so that's what's on the to-do list, so let's go. Okay, so I've got everything tied up 
Um, I have a few more plants to tie up, but it is way too sunny to film it, so um, we're not going to do that. I need to go ahead and water everything, but I'm just going to do that without filming it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, vlog. Um, it was kind of quicker, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all those good things as always. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.